Hey guys, Greg with GM Russell Photography here. Today I'd like to talk about my 2021 camera kit. I had some technical difficulties when I filmed this. For whatever reason, it didn't pick up audio, and you can see my cat also decided to join me. Um, so I, for whatever reason, I didn't pick up the audio that I recorded while I filmed this, so I am doing a voiceover now. So we're going to be looking at my GoPro kit here as soon as my cat decides to let us take a look at it. All right, so here's the GoPro Hero 9. I picked this up because I want to make my YouTube videos a little bit more cinematic. I want to make it something like we're going on a journey together. So I wanted to film myself as I travel to these places where I take my landscape photos. And I thought, you know, this could be something that would be really great to just clip in the car and be able to record footage driving to places, as well as maybe get some pickup shots that would be otherwise bulky or hard to do with a DSLR. You know, I could just pick this up and have it on a item of clothing, like a, have it on my hat or have it on my backpack. So it's really convenient, I think, to have just for those extra features. I also purchased that spare battery you saw because, as we all know, battery life can suck. And I found this underwater housing pretty cheap. I think it was like 70 bucks, but in comparison to a DSLR underwater housing, that is incredible for price. And I thought, you know, the GoPro might not be the best for taking photos, but if I can get some underwater footage with it, hey, maybe it's worth it, you know? I also got this small mini tripod that comes out as such, and I thought, you know, this could be a good tripod just to have in case I wanted to put the GoPro on something like a fence or um, some rocks or something and record me doing something while I'm out in the field, so hey, why not? Here is my drone setup. This is something that I got pretty cheap on eBay. I think it was 675 used. It's the DJI Mavic Pro Fly More combo. So I have got these neutral density filters here that came with it. I don't recall off the top of my head what their values are. I think it's like a 64, a 32, and a 16. Right here we've got the Helo Pad because I hear that you do not want to launch these things out in grass, especially wet grass, so that is something I can just throw down in the field and then take off and land on. And then here is the kit itself. This hard case came with it. I have the controller that you see off to the left here. I have the drone itself. I have these extra batteries. I have this four-way battery charger. I think it's actually a three-way charger, sorry. Have these extra propellers there, more extra propellers in those boxes. And then a couple cables to use both to charge the controller as well as to connect my iPhone to the controller for flying. Now I don't have my part 107 yet, so I can't actually use this, but it's something I wanted to practice with while I'm working on getting that part 107 license here in the next couple of weeks. Here's my main Nikon kit. This is my previous workhorse, the D750, along with the Tamron 24-70 f2.8, which is almost always on this camera. This previously, in the past several years, has been my main camera and my main lens, and has taken most of the photos that I have on my portfolio. I also have a telephoto option here, the 100 to 400, and this is for when I want to do a bit of a different landscape where I have something that's just more zoomed in than the usual wide angle. And I've also got this battery grip that I barely ever use, but hey, why not? Now I'm switching to Sony and I've had this a7 II for years, and this is going to be my new main kit because I want to shoot primarily mirrorless. I'm also getting an a7R4 that's in the mail today. Now here's the first lens that I got. This is the kit lens, the 28 to 70 3.5 to f5.6. Second lens I purchased for this system is the 55 1.8. I've had both of those lenses for several years now. When I decided earlier this year to make the Sony set up my primary camera, I also purchased these two lenses. I have the 24 to 70 and the 15, no, the 16 to 35 G Masters. And these are going to be my two main workhorses going forward. So the 16 to 35 for super wide and the 24 to 70 for the stuff that I don't need to be quite that wide on. Now for the neutral stuff that I can use on both cameras. Here's my main tripod. It is the Siri N3204X carbon fiber with a whatever model Siri head this is. I also have the Rode VideoMic Pro for DSLR audio in the event that I decide to film something on a DSLR. Here is a Phoenix flashlight. I don't recall how many lumens it is, but it looks like it's a PD35 TAC model. 
And I like it because it's got this red light filter on that I actually break right here. You'll see it in just a second. I accidentally broke this on camera. So if you guys like or subscribe, maybe I can buy a new one. There it is. There it is. It's cracked. My black diamond headlamp here. This also has a red light feature on it, but I'm not going to be able to demonstrate it for you guys because I haven't been out at night lately, so I don't have a battery in here because I don't want it to get corroded. Uh, but this is my main headlamp. This is what I use anytime I'm out in the field late at night and I need to find my way back somewhere or maybe illuminate something while I am taking shots. The red light is great for that. So here's my main filter holder, the Format High Tech 100 millimeter filter system. This is on my camera a lot because I love taking long exposures. Along with that, I have this 100 millimeter filter case from KNF Concept. In the front, I've got a couple microfibers, and in here, I've got my one uh, 100 millimeter filter that I own right now, which is the Benro 10 Stop. I'm gonna plan on getting a couple more filters, hence why I wanted to get this filter pouch. That 10 stop is on my camera quite a bit because again, I love long exposures. And then here is everything laid out on the desk. You can also see that I have the Low Pro here. It is a, let me see the model when I zoom in on it. It is a Low Pro Pro Tactic 450AW. That's my main backpack along with this ThinkPad, ThinkStrap, Think something, Think Tank. Yeah, Think Tank. It's a Think Tank uh, Retrospective 6, I think. So those are my two main backpacks that I use in the field. Here is a same top GoPro clip. This is what I have on my backpack for if I want to get some GoPro footage while I'm walking. I forgot to show my Wacom tablet, which is inside the low pro backpack. And I also forgot to mention that I am using my DJI Osmo to film this. So my smartphone gimbal. Uh, so those are also two parts of my kit that I forgot to show here. But yeah, that is my camera gear setup in 2021 guys. Let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts, comments, and I will see you all next week. Thanks for tuning in.